Hello YouTube, this is TakeGuy21 back and today I'll be showing you how to create an app for Android and iOS. Let's get started. So first we need to go into our Flash Professional CS6. You can download the trial or the full version. I have the full version. And I'm going to press Air for Android. So now I'm just going to move this a little bit. Make this fit in window. And now, um, let's change the background color. Let's press modify document. Let's change it to, let's say, reddish. And let's, um, okay, so these are all frames. Just press timeline and these are all your frames. So if I wanted three pages and ten frames per page, I'll go to 30, press insert frame, and on 20 I'm going to press insert keyframe, and on 10 I'm going to press insert keyframe again. Okay, so now this is going to be, I'm just going to name this, home, and then I'm going to insert another layer, and I'm going to name this banner. Okay. So now, um, let's insert our banner. Our banner is going to show through all the pages. So let's just import to library. And let's go on my desktop. And let's choose this banner. So now I'm just going to press library. Make sure you're on banner. Select banner. Then drag this on, and now you can modify it by pressing this. Um, I'm just gonna make it smaller. Okay. So now let's. So on every page we see this banner on the top. So let's go on home, and let's name these pages. I'm gonna name this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna name this pages. And I'm gonna name so this is gonna be home page one and page two. So I'm press here properties name it home and then press here name it page one and I press here name it page two. So now we have all our pages named. Let's go back home and let's add some text here. So I'm just going to say welcome. Um, I am testing. Adobe. So just make this a little bit bigger. Or if you choose to, you can make the text smaller by highlighting it and go to the size and drag it. So I'm just gonna do it like this. So then I'm just gonna make this capital. There we go. And now let's just make our buttons for page one and page two. So, um, also I just want to show you how to make this smaller. I mean, a different color. Press on color, and you can choose any color, but I'm just going to keep it white for now. Okay. And, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our rectangle tool. And let's make a rectangle right about here. And let's take our black selection tool, make a box around it, control C, control V. So this is going to be page one and page two. Great. And um, let's throw in a picture. So we're going to file import again. It's library. And let's choose, say, this picture. 
library and this is the picture we chose this is a picture I edited it in uh, Photoshop check out my video for that um, I'm just gonna make it smaller there we go it's perfect and now let's just uh, add some text in our buttons so let's just name this page one and let's make that smaller so we have to change the color to make it gray and here we're going to make it page two that's it so our buttons are not completely made let's just uh... go to page two anyway uh... page one i mean and let's add um, a picture. I'm gonna add a FIFA 14 PS4 cover. So I'm just gonna import it to library. I'm gonna put the image in. So I'm just gonna go to library again. And I'm gonna drag that picture right down here make a bigger smaller your choice and let's make a go home button so you could go back to home and some text in there so let's just name this home so I'm gonna highlight this properties and let's make it a different color green great now let's add some text. Let's name it. Oh, let's just say PS4 uh, FIFA 14 for P for PS4. So I'm just gonna highlight that, make it bigger. Not too big. There we go. And that looks great. Let's go to page two. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add an image. Let's import. And let's put like these two daisies. Like, um, let's just put that down here again. Okay. And some text. Let's say. Look at that nature. Let's actually say, like, what, what should we say about this picture? Look at that sunset, I guess. I want to make it like, a little bit longer. What should I say? Um, just to fill in all this blank space. Um, let's see. Let's make it look at that ladybug. And I don't know what happened here. Just want to make it more recognizable so you could like, really look at the picture find the ladybug uh, I think that's too much so I'm just gonna drag it here and let's actually I try to delete this I did that by accident and to choose multiple things just press shift and click on them. So let's make that button again. And let's put text. And let's see, what should we, um, let's gonna home. And let's make that smaller. Let's change the color to black. Okay, 
So now to make these buttons fully functional, um, to actually make these buttons, uh, we're gonna use our black selection tool, make a square around them, right click, convert to symbol. Then we're gonna name, uh, we're just gonna put, make sure this is button, and you can name it anything, I don't care. Um, now this is a button, but it doesn't take us anywhere. Let's just do that to the other buttons. So I'm gonna highlight them again. Convert to symbol. Okay. Now let's go to home. Convert to symbol. And let's do this. Convert to symbol. Okay. So if we press control enter to see our movie so far. We can see that it doesn't stop at home. It keeps going. So for that stop, we'll go on timeline. Make sure on frame one. Press window. Actions. Code snipped. Timeline navigation. And stop at this frame. So now let's do that again. Press control enter. To load our movie. Just loading the oh, just have to press. Okay, so here it's exploring this WF. And now we can see that it stops. So if we press, nothing happens to these buttons. Let's make that these buttons actually work. So we'll go to home, and uh, Adobe automatically makes an actions bar up there. So we're going to press on this, and we're going to press window, um, actions, good snip. Oh, I already have them here. And we're going to press click to go to frame and stop. And here we're going to choose what frame. So page 1 is on frame 10. That's where it starts. So I'm putting 10. Now we're going to close that and try it out. So now we're just going to press um, page 1 and it'll take us right away to page 1. See? It works perfectly fine. Um, let's do the same for page 2. Just click on it. Window. Or just do it automatically from here. Click to frame and stop, and make it to frame 20. So let's go to page 1, and press on home, click to go to frame and stop, and let's change it to 1. And the same thing for page 2. And now I'm just gonna drag this up, shift and up, because it's not showing the full file. I don't know what's wrong here, but uh, I'm just gonna do this. So I'm gonna press page two. Sorry, I just have to. Enter. Page two. Now we're gonna press home. As you can see, it works perfectly. So we still didn't finish. We have to publish this. So um, what we need to do is press file, and we're gonna press publish settings. So now all we need to do is go up to target which is supposed to be Air 3.4 for Android and you should download the Air uh, Adobe Air from the Play Store so let's name the app um, I'm just gonna name it test one 
and then um, deployment you're gonna generate a certificate so press create certificate put in your publisher name organization unit you could put in anything you like country password and valid period so this is just to make sure no one other no other person copies it so I'm just gonna put in um, test. just random letters I'm just gonna put random letters because I'm not actually gonna use this app so I'm just gonna make it Canada password let me start that password again okay and let's save this in the desktop and press ok then it says self signed certificate has been created that's great so here we can put permissions so that uh, if we need if you uh, your app needs internet for it to work you can press uh, must have internet must have camera must have Wi-Fi must have audio um, languages which support languages does your app have English only icons you can make um and deployment this is where we're gonna which we need to put our password for our certificate and remember for this session and and your de deployment type do you want a device release so this is your fully app your full app or do you want a, a emulator release or do you want a debug so that means you're just testing it like it's beta and uh, air runtime you could choose from Google Android market or Amazon App Store and after publishing do you want to install on that connected device Android device and launch the application I'm not plug I'm not gonna plug one in right now but that's it all you need to do is press publish now it's publishing it's just generating all the other codes for the for any Android device and the APK was packaged successfully and you're done that's how to create an app with flash professional so I have I hope you enjoyed this video comment like subscribe and check out King Lafair and Jafar 175 uh, subscribe to them too they have great videos so this is Tega 21 signing out peace